Investing into companies with a solid foundation who grow their dividends every year is the best way to invest in the stock market. When I see my dividends come in, it motivates me to keep on investing. Companies like Coca-Cola, Procter & Gamble, and ExxonMobil have paid dividends for over a hundred years straight. Nothing makes me happier than reinvesting my dividends back into solid companies. Over time, compound interest does its job and your returns will be substantial. I personally have about $17,000 in my dividend portfolio and I want to share it with you all today. I have a mix of a dividend growth strategy and income investing. I love income investing because my principal is making immediate money in the form of dividends and I can do with it as I wish. I can reinvest those dividends or keep the cash to pay my bills. I currently have just purchased a mix of BDCs, MLPs, and high yielding REITs. For those of you who don't know, BDCs are business development companies and MLPs are master limited partnerships. These companies typically have a higher yield than most. I will show you which companies I have purchased and what my overall portfolio looks like today. I know this investing strategy isn't for everybody, but I want to maximize my dividend growth rate, my dividend yield, and my total return. So having a mix of high yielding business development companies and solid blue chips like Johnson & Johnson and Procter & Gamble is the, is the strategy that I use. Let's take a look at what companies I have today. First, we have Altria, ticker symbol MO, with a high yield of 8.23% and a dividend growth rate of 7.9%. This company will be paying me dividends for years to come. If you just invest $10,000 in Altria, in 20 years, you will be raking in almost $20,000 each year in dividends alone. Now that's crazy. <laughs> Coming up, my next newest business development company I have invested in is Main Street Capital, ticker symbol MAIN. Main Street Capital is the gold standard of BDCs and is a quality company that has never cut its dividend, even during the 2008 market crash. Now, another new MLP I have purchased is Enterprise Products Partners, ticker symbol EPD. EPD has a dividend yield of 7.88% and a dividend growth rate for the past five years of 2.2%. EPD is a well-diversified investment in midstream infrastructure across geographies and energy commodities. EPD is also one of the largest MLPs out there with a market cap just over $54.4 billion. Now, another quality blue chip company I have recently invested in is Verizon. I think Verizon is at a discount and is a good buy now with a P.E. ratio of about 8.5%. They have a low payout ratio of 49% and a market cap of $165 billion. I don't expect them to stop paying dividends anytime soon due to their cash flow and low payout ratio, and I'll take advantage of the discounted price. Another MLP I have is Enbridge, ticker symbol ENB. Enbridge continues to provide a dividend of at least 6% and while comfortably buying back shares. This company has substantial growth opportunities and will be providing strong shareholder returns. Two strong blue chip companies I have purchased are Johnson & Johnson and Procter & Gamble. I expect these to be the core of my portfolio along with ticker symbol SCHD which is a Charles Schwab Dividend Growth ETF. I have a few more blue chip stocks that I will go over in a later video that make up the core of my portfolio as well. As my portfolio stands with a current yield of 4.43%, a dividend growth rate of 8%, and a total return of about 10 to 12%, in 20 years, I will be making $98,800 in dividends alone. My strategy of income investing, dividend growth investing, 
and growth investing gives me everything I am looking for in a portfolio. It gives me a higher yield, a higher dividend growth rate, and a higher total return. These are companies that I have just purchased, and I will be making a portfolio update soon in the future with all of these recent buys. Thank you all for watching this video. Again, I make these videos to motivate and inspire others to keep on investing. Do not take any of this as financial advice. It is for entertainment only. And I understand that this strategy is not for everyone, but for me, it's the way to go. Well guys, thank you so much for watching and take care. I will see you later in other videos. I make them every day. Bye.